Do you want to learn about crypto? Do you want a piece of this $2 trillion industry? Today, we're going to cover the seven different types of cryptocurrency. The first category of cryptocurrencies are the store of value cryptos. Investors buy Bitcoin because only 21 million Bitcoin will ever be produced. Some people see Bitcoin as digital gold. Investors have put almost $2 trillion into cryptocurrency and almost 40% of that is invested into Bitcoin because investors believe that Bitcoin will be able to hold its value. So it's considered a cryptocurrency that can hold value. The second type of crypto are the type whose underlying blockchain is able to power decentralized applications or dApps. Ethereum is the biggest blockchain in terms of dApp revenue, making $500 million a month. There are also other blockchains which have underlying decentralized apps that are making millions of dollars per month. The Ethereum blockchain powers these five large decentralized finance applications, including Curve and MakerDAO. These DeFi have anywhere from seven to $15 billion locked into the system. Ethereum also powers a whole bunch of exchanges, including Uniswap, which has another seven billion. And it's this utility, it's these dApps and DeFi that are built into the Ethereum blockchain, which gives Ethereum its value. And the reason that Ethereum is the number two blockchain and crypto. The third category of cryptocurrencies are the stable coins. Stable coins are crypto that are tied into something physical like the US dollar and they remain stable. They're not as volatile as other types of cryptocurrencies. Here, when we see the top cryptocurrencies by market cap, we can see that number three is USDT or Tether, which is the third biggest cryptocurrency with the value of over $80 billion. Each Tether is linked to the US dollar. USD coin is also a stable coin that is linked to the US dollar. You can see here that it's the number five cryptocurrency in the US with the value of over $50 billion. A quick review of the three categories of crypto that we've already gone over. Number one, the store of value crypto like Bitcoin. Number two, the cryptos that power decentralized applications like Ethereum. Number three, the stable coins. Next, we have the exchange tokens whose primary goal is to run a cryptocurrency exchange. Millions of people worldwide go to cryptocurrency exchanges every day to buy, sell, or stake their cryptocurrency. The two biggest centralized exchanges are Binance powered by the BNB token and Crypto.com powered by the Crow token, as well as the two biggest decentralized exchanges, Uniswap powered by the Uni token and PancakeSwap powered by the Cake token. The fifth category of crypto are the meme coins, which don't offer any function at all. Next, we have the central bank digital currencies, which over eight countries have already started trying to use, including China with the digital yuan and the Bahamas. Number seven, we have the privacy tokens, which aren't gonna be accepted by governments because of anti-laundering laws. Today, we reviewed the seven different categories of crypto. Number one, the store of value cryptos like Bitcoin. Number two, the cryptos that power blockchains and decentralized applications or dApps. Number three, the stable coins. Number four, the tokens that power exchanges. Number five, meme coins. Number six, central bank digital currencies. And number seven, privacy tokens. Seven categories of crypto. This is Dr. Kidwell. Make sure to subscribe.